Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize and speed up the performance of your hard drive. And before I start, make sure you enable subscribe to my videos to understand better what I say. So yeah, let's start. In this video I will show you 4 steps and I will leave the timestamps right now in the description if you want to check out when each step is. But before I head to the first step I want to say that this video is specifically for hard drives and not for SSDs because what I mean by that is that if you have an SSD and the hard drive combo like me and you have Windows 10 installed on your SSD and you have your hard drive as storage this video will work on your hard drive if you have Windows 10 installed on your hard drive. So if you have Windows 10 installed on your SSD and you have your hard drive as a storage this video will not work and yeah if you want to know how to optimize and speed up the performance of your SSD I have made a video on that back in October of 2019 and I will leave the video in the card in the top right corner right now for you to check it out and yeah let's head straight to the first step the first step is going to be defragging and optimizing your hard drive to head to the defragment section you need to open the search and type defrag or defragment the same thing and you should open the first one that says defragment and optimize drives give it a few seconds to open up do not worry if it does not open up just give it a few seconds it will open up eventually and once it has opened this is what you should see right here and before i continue this section is not recommended for ssds because as you know hard drives has moving parts it has a moving head which finds where its file is and it has a moving disk of course whereas an ssd it does not have any moving parts it does not have a head nor a disk and it has only memory flashes and it is said that defragging your ssd will reduce its lifespan and this section here is specifically for hard drives so if you have an ssd this is recommended to turn it off exactly as i have it right here and yeah what you need to do once this has opened up you need to find the hard drive which for me is this one right here and what you need to do you need to click analyze so windows analyzes how much there is to defrag and after the analyzation has finished you need to click optimize to start optimizing the drive it will take a few minutes i'm not sure by how much but it's going to take around these numbers may be completely wrong from around 10 minutes to 30 minutes i'm not sure but yeah defragging takes a long time on hard drives because they are slower and yeah that's step number one let's head to step number two the step number two is going to be enabling the right caching on your hard drive. To do that, you need to open the device manager. So right click to start and click device manager right here. Once device manager has opened up, you need to head to the top in the top left corner and you need to expand the one that says disk drives. Expand that and find your hard drive right here. For me, it's the third one right here. And to open the properties, right click and click properties or double click on top of it to open the properties. Here what you need to do, you need to head to the second tab which says policies and here you will see a few options. The default one is going to be the better performance as you can see right here and this is what it should be if you have it on quick removal change it to better performance because it requires for that setting to be there and what you need to do you need to enable the one that says enable write caching on the device because it says improve system performance by enabling write caching on the device but a power outage or equipment failure might result in data loss or corruption so enabling this setting will make your hard drive faster i'm not sure by how much but it's definitely going to speed it up a little bit and yeah, if you have it disabled, enable it. And after that, click OK. And if it says that you need to restart it, which I think it doesn't require you to restart, but if it does, restart it just to be sure. And yeah, let's head to step number three. The step number three is going to be the optimization of your page file in Windows 10. So to head to the page file, this is going to be a little bit difficult, but you will get through it. You need to open the control panel, the original control panel, not the Windows 10. Once the control panel has opened, you need to open system and security, then open system. It will open the Windows 10 system, but in the right side, you need to click where it says advanced system settings right here. Click that and it will open another window. At the top you need to head to the advanced one if it's not already there and then in the performance tab you need to click the button that says settings. Here you need to head to the second tab where it says advanced again and at the bottom where it says virtual memory you need to click change. Now here for many of you this setting will be automatically exactly as I have it right here. This option is going to be enabled and honestly that's where it should be. It should be like that automatically managed paging file for size for all drives. For my storage, for my hard drive storage it says that there are no page files because Windows 10 is installed on my SSD and there is no need for page file to be set on my hard drive storage. So yeah if you see that this section is not ticked, the first one right here, if it's not on your computer like that, check it so Windows sets it automatically on where it needs to be 
after that click OK, it says that you need to restart your computer to take effect, do that, after click apply and OK, and you are done. It will pop up another window that you need to restart, click restart now, so it applies the changes. And yeah, let's head to the last step, which this one will be optimizing the background services, apps and all of that. So basically in this step, you need to uninstall whatever useless programs you have on your computer. And that's taking up space and that's taking up hard drive resources. So if you have lots of software that you did not use or barely even use, uninstall them so as to make your hard drive a little bit faster and free up some space. So yeah, if you didn't know how to uninstall something, head to the control panel or in the Windows 10 settings, it's the same thing and click at the bottom where it says uninstall the program. And here uninstall any software that you do not need. I have lots of them, do not use them, but sometimes they are useful and it may come in handy one day. And yeah, that's everything good. I do not have anything else to show you. This video may be a little bit longer than the SSD, but I don't think it would bother you a lot. So yeah, that's the video guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any problems, tell me in the comment section. I'll try to help you as much as possible. If you have any video ideas, tell me in the comment section. I'll try to make them in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.